Hey Taurus, this is TC, the Guiding Chariot. Uh, welcome to your mid-month reading for April. Uh, if you're returning to my channel, timing is a little off. Um, I have some crazy things going on with my work schedule at the end of the month, so I have to move, move my recording schedule up. So instead of the end of the month, we're doing a mid-month. Um, so this will be through the next two weeks as we move into May. Uh, this is going to be for all Taurus, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Um, this will be a general reading. So my only ask is that you take the messages as they resonate. Um, if it doesn't fit your circumstances or you have to fudge too many details for it to make sense, that message just wasn't meant for you. It may resonate with all the decks, one of the decks, who knows, just do not force it. Um, because of the nature of this reading, I do recommend you watch the videos for all your signs. If you don't know that information, you can get it for free online. Um, you can check out Astrology Cafe, have a natal chart done, and it'll tell you all your signs, and come back and watch your videos. Um, I have a couple decks out. I have two oracle decks we're going to use as a kind of like general temperature check for the next two weeks as we move into Taurus season. And then, as always, we'll get your main message from the tarot spread. All right? Cool. Let me tilt this down so we can look at the cards. All right. So, first deck. What is going to be the main theme for the next two weeks as we close out, whew, as we close out Aries season for Taurus? All right, Spirit, what theme does Taurus need to be focused on in these last two weeks as we move into Taurus season? Ooh, I like this. All right, so you guys got the card of potential. I love it. So, great card as we start moving into your season. Makes me wonder, once we hit Taurus season, what is going to be happening? I want to say that there's going to be a lot of growth. If you can, hopefully it'll focus. If you can see in this image, so there's, you know, the figure here, but you can see there's like a little, there's like a little face, like a little being inside. And I feel like this is the growth potential. This is something we're getting ready to emerge. And almost, I almost want to say it's like be born. There's like a new creative expression coming out for you. Um, I always think, I also think of, anytime I hear this, so not necessarily this card, but like anytime I talk about potential, especially in a reading or the, the symbols, I always think of like a seed, something planted that's getting ready to bloom and flower. Um, you know, and, you, and honestly, even if you think of your sign, Taurus, you know, the bull, the ox, you know, kind of tending and taking care of his little plot of land on the farm, you know, um, and Taurus are really, they, they want to, Here's my plot of land, I'm gonna, I'm gonna work on it, this is what I wanna do. I think that's where the potential is coming from. You know, really focused, dedicated work on whatever, whatever this is for you. If this is work, if this is yourself, if this is family, partner, whatever, wherever this potential lies. Um, I think the big part of these last two weeks is really, I almost wanna say it's getting into this mindset. Cause I don't think the growth is happening just yet. For some of you, maybe it is. But I think for the most part, I think it's getting into this mindset so that once we hit your season, once we get into May, like you are ready to go. Because it's it's kind of lying in wait. And you can kind of see this little, I don't know, spirit or whatever it's supposed to be. It's just kind of hanging out in there. Like it's like, okay, I'm coming out soon, but not, not quite yet. So I don't think this is something that's actively happening in this moment for the majority of you. But come your season, that may not be the case. All right, spirit. What animal medicine is coming to Taurus's aid in these next two weeks as we get ready for Taurus season? Oh, that did not cut where I expected it to come from. Mmm, I like it. So it's at the horse, freedom. Beautiful image, right? All right. Your heart is pure and free. A greater purpose calls you. Yeah, there it is. You have unlimited reserves of stamina and strength. You follow the winds of change and accomplish your dreams. Yes. So, horse spirit, coming to guide you, coming to pull you forward. Um, I almost feel like when the moment is right, like... You know, this little, this little new beginning inside of you is grabbing the reins and the horse is just going to like drag it out. Like, and we're here. Like, legit. 
Um, but I think, again, this is kind of speaking to your strength, your stamina, even, you know, take it as an ox as well. I think come your season, there's going to be a lot of effort being put into whatever, again, whatever this growth potential is. And again, it could be anything. It could be work, personal, anything. But there's going to be a lot of effort and energy put into it. And to me, the horse card is coming up saying that you have all the energy you need it. You are free to pursue whatever this is. So um, amazing. Mm. You guys are in for a really nice birthday. Let's do one more. All right, Spirit, what is the main message for Taurus in these last two weeks for April? Mm. Little sneak a deeks. Okay. For some reason, I want to see the bottom of the deck. All right. Daughter of Wands. I like that. So that'd be the Princess of Wands uh, in a in a you know a little more traditional deck. So again, that spark, that initial spark, that divine spark. Oh, okay. So Five of Swords. So maybe went through some contests, went through some some battling this past month having to, I almost want to say having to like prove yourself or prove your point, you know, getting your point across to someone. And you get the chariot card. So this is the card of cancer. So some of this could have been directed towards a cancer, come from a cancer. You know, what I think is also a little more significant is here is your horse spirit again. Here is your horse. So again, the chariot is a symbol of success and forward progression. So is so is the horse. So to me, I think that's the stronger symbolism. But some of you could have been dealing with a cancer. That could have been a thing. You may have had some, I don't know, almost an axe to grind with them maybe. Oh, look at that. Five of wands. So for some of you, this, this battle, especially if it was with a cancer, because I don't think it was for many of you, this may be a really small, really small, if only, if, even if it's only one of you out there. I want to say this battle was inside of yourself with this Five of Wands, because this is inner conflict. Either that or maybe you're conflicted about what happened um, with this. So even if this wasn't a cancer, I think this is a sign that we're moving forward from the physical, whatever contest or, or battle this was. You know, maybe you're feeling a certain way about it, but I'm sure we're, oh yeah, look at that. Hanged man. So, had something to do with, physically moved forward from it, maybe still thinking about it, we're still torn up about it. And then we have this hanged man moment coming up. So I think to me, this is really a reassessment of how you're feeling about what happened, maybe your role, others' roles, what went into making this, this situation erupt the way it did. But this is your processing. This is you kind of going through it, kind of reviewing the footage, like, okay, you know, why did this person do this to me? Why did I do this to this person? Was this right? Was this wrong? All those kind of questions. And I think the discovery here is really about, I almost want to say it's really about who you are, who you want to be, and how closely those interactions really lined up. You know, were your actions really matching your words and your thoughts? And honestly, maybe maybe they did for an older version of you. But again, I keep looking, I keep coming back to this growth potential. You know, and I, th I think there's a huge evolution coming for you through this kind of hangman moment. Like, I really think you're about to kind of like blossom and like go up another level, which I think is great. Yep, look at that. After the hangman, you come out the magician, empowered, controlled. Um, I like I don't know why the word resigned keeps coming but not resigned is like you've given up and you're just surrendering to your fate like it's almost it's like I don't know if resigned is the right word but that's the word that keeps coming up but it's giving me this 
this idea where you don't have to force it anymore. Like the magician doesn't have to force it. He knows he's super powerful. He knows that he can just snap his fingers and whatever he wants will happen. And I think that's kind of, I think that's kind of the energy. Some of this contest, some of this fighting may have come from, you know, the need to like prove your point, like I said, or the, 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 you know, you felt you had to be assertive or aggressive to get your, get what you want. I think after this, you realize I don't, I don't have to be that way. I don't have to behave or interact in that fashion. You know, I know I'm capable. Yeah, look at that. And then you have the justice card. This is karma. So whatever is deserved is going to come. You know, and to me, this is also the wrap up. This is also wrapping up whatever needs to be before you are truly free, you know, for this potential. So whatever, whatever, whatever karma needs to be repaid, you know, the good, bad, the ugly, all of that is coming and that's going to close out this whole cycle, which I love. Um, Justice card, also the symbol for Libra. So you could have been working with a Libra um, just to kind of throw that out there. But I think for more so, it's really about the energies. So moving out of some type of contest and some type of struggle internally and emotionally processing it on a very like mature level i feel this is really intellectual like really going through it and rehashing coming out you know much stronger than before and then also this karmic wrap up you know for going for going through this for going through the processing you know then you everything gets kind of evened out in the end beautiful reading and actually a great setup you know because this is really where you're going to be as we move into may as we move into your season so great position to be at the start of your season Taurus I'm real excited about it all right so with that said I'm gonna send you guys out thank you thank you thank you as always for joining me for watching this video thank you as always for the likes the comments subscriptions you guys are the bomb um, if you're not already please subscribe so you're notified when all these videos pop out we do this a couple times a month and then I also have my dailies that come out every day um, assuming something crazy doesn't happen. <laughs> um, but yeah, love it, love it, love it. And I love connecting with you guys. If you guys, if you have anything to share or questions, feel free, leave them in the comment section below. You can also hit me up on Instagram and DM me at the guiding chariot. If you want to book a private reading, all that info will be in the description box. All right, my loves, you take care, sending you all my love, and I will see you in your next video. Bye.